What's up guys? Today is cleanup day at the Ty and Gray household. This house is a wreck. We gotta clean it up and it's just, it's just a mess. I've even also gotta cut the grass. The grass is getting really long. Uh, we're actually about to run focus camera. We are about to run to Lowe's uh, to go look for a lawnmower. Hopefully we can find one for a decent price that'll actually fit in my car so I can cut the grass because it actually feels good outside today and we need one. We need to cut our grass because I feel bad because our neighbors have cut their grass and I haven't. Ours is getting long. So we're going to do that. We're going to run out to Lowe's and come back and do some spring cleaning. Hopefully we can get this all done. You ready? Let's do work. Kind of looks like it's going to rain, but I looked on my weather app and it doesn't say it's going to. So let's, let's hope it actually stays this way because it's not hot at all outside. It feels good. Stun of shades. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> These would be nice to have right here, mm -hmm. but no thank you, I'm not paying, oh my god, that was $3,000. I'm not paying that much for these. I think pretty much all these are like over a thousand. I think the cheapest one I've seen was maybe like 800 online, but no thank you. I don't need a, a riding lawnmower that much. Here's some push mowers. I'm sure they're gonna have more of a selection inside. What? They're used? Oh, no wait, they're reduced. Oh wait, they are used, aren't they? Dude, I will buy those if they're used as long as they work. I just want one that's cheap, works, and I don't have to fix and after using it for one time. Don't feel like dealing with a lawnmower I have to fix all the time. Yeah, these are reduced, but they're all still like expensive. I seen one online that was like 150, and then another was like 180. So those are ones I'm gonna look at. Yeah, new. So we'll, we'll check those out. That's exit. Salida. How do you say that? Salida. Salida. I love the smell of these places. It always smells so new and fresh and good, right? This is one of the things I'm excited to get because once we get a house uh, and I have a grill and stuff, it will make it a lot more fun to cook on a grill at home. There's some lawnmowers. That one's $500. Well, and all the ones I've seen online, they all have a bag behind them. I don't want to have to deal with a bag. Yeah, but I think that's how they make them now. It's better because then you don't have all that residue. Yeah, but I don't care. The gra that grass is gonna the grass is gonna die and go back into this itself anyways. I don't feel like emptying out a bag every two minutes. It's annoying. So this is what I'm looking at right here. It's pretty basic and simple, uh, but it works. And there's two different models of it. One's a 20 inch and then one is a 21 inch. And it makes it like $30 more expensive. 150 or 180. I'll probably go with the 150 one because one inch, that's not that much difference for 30 bucks at least. And I don't think there's really other any other differences in it. And uh, I guess that works. Yay. How much is that one? 189 Really? That one actually looks pretty good. It's got a bag, but it also has a Green side. works. Is it more like environmentally friendly? The guy also told us to get this spectricide for like killing bugs and ants and fleas and ticks and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully this will do the job. It's 10 bucks and it's a pretty big bottle. So hopefully that will be enough to to cover the whole yard. Protect my kisu. From fleas. And ticks. Get on it. Okay. <laughs> Wait, can I sit on it? Yeah. <laughs> Is it fun? Feel like a little kid again? Well, they're not going to say anything. We're older. We're not it's not like we're little kids anymore. You're not going to be like, little kid, get off the, the buggy. That he's looking at us. <laughs> Come on, now. Shut up. Psh. I'm so excited that I get to pay 150 bucks to cut grass at a house I'm renting, and I get to cut the grass. I'm paying for my own labor. I so think fun. it's time for you to buy a house. <laughs> I want to, but I, I don't want to be stuck somewhere. I don't want to buy a house and then be like six months later, be like, okay, I don't want to live here anymore, and then not want to live there. Until you buy a house you're comfortable with, and you like the location, yeah. and everything. And at the same time, I want to buy a house because I want to build a skate park. I want to have a spot for my trampoline. I'm going to get a hot tub. Uh, I want to have a pool. I want to have 
basketball court, not like a big basketball court, just like so somewhere to play basketball. So you want to buy a mansion? No, like every, <laughs> like I've when I've mentioned that before in the vlog, everybody's like, yeah, Ty, when you're rich or something like that, or like you act like you have to have a mansion for all that. That's not that much. Like a skate park, you have a little tin building, and a basketball court, you have a little paved piece of concrete. It's not that much. A That's pool true. and a hot tub. Lots if of people have pools a, and hot tubs. If you have a big enough uh, driveway, you can put like golf, like a golf basketball hoop there and have yeah. like a little court. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just want to have awesome stuff to entertain myself at home, in my house. <sighs> now, we gotta drive all the way to Walmart so I can get uh, a gas tank. <laughs> it's it's right, right beside Lowe's. <laughs> Such a far distance to drive. We're here! Yay! Hey, that was a dude that's in Lowe's. He works there. Just seen him a minute ago. He's <laughs> following us. Or we're more so following okay. him that he's already here. So we got our gas tank. We're at Walmart. Uh, we just heard word that the Boston Marathon had two explosions uh, at the end of the finish line. So that kind of sucks. Uh, a lot of people are talking about it on Twitter. So uh, we don't know what was the cause of it or who is the cause of it or something just exploded. Uh, but there were... Yeah, it was at the end of the finish line. There's people being uh, Yeah, there's people already, like, they're saying that are injured and stuff like that. So we just wanted to say our thoughts go out to the people affected in, in Boston uh, with the, the, the Boston uh, Marathon. That kind of stinks. Hopefully it wasn't no terrorist kind of thing. But, I mean, I don't know what else it would be. Would. I think it's just some crazy person again. Yeah. I hate how social media, though, mm -hmm. like, I understand everybody wants to get on social media and be like, and I'm doing it right now. Uh, be like sorry for what happened in Boston and stuff but I feel like with us making a big deal out of it like you know the news is gonna use this like the news takes advantage of this because this is how they make oh, their money the yeah that's what I mean and like it, it makes whoever done it into a celebrity I hate that that's a thing I feel now. like it gives people that are a little on the crazy side more of an yeah. incentive to do it because they're like, oh, I'll get publicity from it too. Yeah, even and if I die doing it, I'll and just still it makes the whole that. situation like it blow not blows it out of proportion, but like it makes it into a big thing and a big ordeal, which it is. But I feel like we blow it more out of proportion, uh, and then it, it it causes more things like this to happen. It's still really terrible. Yeah, it really is, but. I do see that the field of media kind of like makes it and so social media much too. more of a thing. Yeah, like we find out about it on Twitter like a minute later. Like everybody that I follow tweeted about it pretty much. That's just the world now. Yeah, it stinks though. Sorry. Ow. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid little thing. This makes me really, really, really freaking mad. Time Warner Cable, you suck. This is the only option we have around here, unless we want AT&T, which AT&T doesn't even offer the speeds the Time Warner Cable has. We have five up, uh, five megs up. Our vlog is already 4%, and it says 174 minutes left to upload. It does not take 174 minutes to upload a vlog with five megs up that uh, it is time order cable throttling our youtube data like everything like we go on youtube if we're uploading or downloading to watch a video they throttle it they give us a slower internet speed so we don't use more data which is freaking bullcrap and i know that's what's happening because youtube is the only thing to slow if we upload it to another site i don't have any problems time order cable you suck i hate you i hope you got a business even though you're not it's freaking bullcrap that's it's I think that's illegal to do. Like, they're not supposed to do that, but they do it. Oh, it makes me mad. So, if you're wondering why yesterday's vlog was late, that's probably why. Yay. Had to rant to you and tell you the Time Warner Cable's terrible. I've complained about them in the past. <sighs> so, that really freaking sucked. I thought, and the way the guy explained it to me, right? He yeah. explained it. The lawnmower's ready to go. You just pull it out of the box and pull up the handle. Yeah, he said you lift up the handle. <laughs> No, you don't. You put the wheels on. I figured we have to You put the little fender thingy thing on. You put the, this part of the handle on. You put this part of the handle on. And if you guys don't know, we don't have tools. This, <laughs> that little and thing. And a ratchet screwdriver. Yes, yeah, literally a ratchet screwdriver. It's literally <laughs> ratchet. Not only is it ratchet, it's also a ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh god. Now but we're yeah. finishing up. We have to do that and then this. Yeah, and thankfully the neighbor let us use her wrench. We yes. probably wouldn't have been able to get it done already. Very it took kind. like 10 times longer. Uh, and now we're just finishing up this little thing right here. And then I can cut the grass. We've been messing with this thing for like an hour. It's really stressful and fun. I love it. I love dealing with tools and stuff like that. I wish we just had a tool set, but. We should know. just buy a tool set and you just should. have it. Even if you're not going to use it, you know, like something like this, you'll be like, oh, I have it. And why don't they just make all the screws like this? We wouldn't run into a problem. Like this one right here, it's got a little square piece on it right here. So it fits down into it's a square. In. So you just literally have to spin one side of it and it tightens down as long as it's pushed forward. Why don't they make everything like that? It's so much easier that way. Then you don't need two tools, you know? Mm-hmm. But nah, they got to make it more complicated. Could have been easy. All the trouble is gone. Let's hope. Let's hope. Mm -hmm. Please. Turn on. So I can start cutting grass. Three. Two. I've already primed it, don't worry. One. <laughs> Come on, baby, you can do it. I may just, just take a few times so I get started. This is the first time it's ever been turned on. I'm going to prime it a few more times. I may need to put a little bit more oil in it. We put the oil and the gas in everything's as it should be. Hey, it works! So, in the middle of cutting grass, we're on the backyard now. Uh, the lawnmower went and then just cut off. Like it sounded kind of like it was hitting something. I thought maybe just a stick got under it that it kept hitting, and then it turned off. I was like, okay. I went to pull it, and the cord would go just like that. Wow, it did it again. Are you serious? A second ago, I'll show you what I did to fix it if I can get it fixed again. Uh, the guy said the rain just not be enough oil in it, but we put oil in it. I put extra in just in case. But like, it's like the engine is locked up and the blade don't spin either uh, on the bottom. A second ago, as soon as I, that's when I told her to start recording because I got it fixed. It started to crank. I know it's probably not good to like flip it over like that, but I don't really know what else to do. It's probably not smart to do this either, but this is how I got it working a second ago. See if that helps. I get it started. There we go. See, it sounds like something's not catching there, right? It sounds so much different than earlier. Hmm. What I don't want was to pull this thing and then I get right here and it just lock up on me. That would freaking hurt my back so much. Uh, Did you put too much oil on? And finally, the yard is done. Yes, that took forever. Finally got the lawnmower back on working. It would cut off every now and then. I don't know what the problem is. If it does it again, I'll just take it back to Lowe's and get a new one. Because they said they'd replace it. And I got a two year warranty with this, so. Yeah. Ah, oh, it feels better. Now that it's done. So we are heading out uh, to get some dinner because uh, obviously we're busy and stuff so we don't really have much time to cook. Uh, not, that that's a, not that that's our excuse every night, but we have an excuse tonight, so we are eating out. Um, I think we're gonna maybe go to this place called Saki, which has Japanese food, which is pretty good. Uh, not too bad for you, it's just like 
meat and rice and carrots and broccoli and stuff like that. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's go get us some food because I'm starved. And, and then come back and hopefully clean some more if I'm not too tired. Okay, can I get um, a teriyaki steak? Yeah, um, a teriyaki chicken. Are you gonna be paying with cash or a card? A card. I'm right, teriyaki steak, teriyaki chicken. And then uh, three vegetable egg rolls. All right. They don't give you drinks here. That's one downfall to it. But sake to bomb. Mmm, delicious sake. You ready? Show them yours. The chicken, chicken sake, chicken teriyaki from sake. <laughs> It rhymes, and then I got steak teriyaki from Saki. Max, like, I want some chicken or steak teriyaki from Saki, real bad. I want. Ooh, he's licking his lips. He's licking his lips. You hungry, ain't you, man? I might, might give you a piece of steak in a little bit if I don't eat it all. So we decided to eat in the living room, uh, watch some TV. I don't know what we're gonna watch, but we're gonna try to pick something. Max, you still want my my teriyaki steak? You ain't getting none of it, buddy. Forget you, forget you, forget you. Shark Tank! Hey, it looks like on this one, week 21, it looks like this morph suits that they're trying to and get money for. Ones, uh, something with a unicycle. Really? Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna watch that one, and then if we have time, watch that one. Okay. We have to clean more, though. We gotta make ourselves clean more. I but need to. turn on the TV for now. Mmm. <laughs> you want it? It's a steak. Sit. Right here. Sit. Speak. Okay. Speak. Roof. Speak. Speak. A loud one. Speak. That's a wet bark. Now get up. All right, lay down. No, no, sit. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Get up. All right, sit. Speak. Speak. There you go. All right, sit. Catch. Two. Oh. <laughs> Good boy. If you are wanting something to watch and you're bored, uh, like as far as the TV show, Shark Tank is good. Uh, they basically, I've told you guys about this before, but if you're a new viewer, uh, I'm going to pause it so I can talk. It's basically uh, like five people that all have tons of money that are investors into companies. People will come on there and present their ideas that they have and inventions, stuff like that, and try to get these sharks, people with the money, to invest in their company. And they'll do it for different percentages, and the sharks will work together sometimes. Uh, they'll go against each other and try to like out uh, invest the other one. Uh, it's really good. And then uh, one of the guys on here uh, out invested, or he what, he what they were doing is going back and forth trying to invest in this like sponge that it, when you put it in hot water it gets soft and when you put it in cold water it gets hard so it, like it's really good like scrubbing sponge um, but it started out a hundred thousand for fifteen percent and then he went to like 125 then she went to 125 then he went to 150 then or no wait he went to 175 I think I don't know and it, it ended up it got up to two hundred thousand and both the deals are two hundred thousand for like twenty five percent. Uh, and then he was like, you know what? I drop out. I just wanted to cost you an extra hundred thousand dollars. And he just made that dude an yeah. extra hundred. <laughs> he made hit that guy an extra hundred thousand just to to mess with her, I guess, <laughs> uh, because he like she's not gonna turn back on her offer since she's already said it. So that was pretty funny. But yeah, Shark Tank. It's a pretty good show. Check it out. It's on Hulu, so you can actually go watch it for free right now. It might be on Netflix too if you have that, but. Uh, Definitely on Hulu. Check it. Oh my god, this is freaking hilarious. I've seen this before on this show too, except they didn't make it so blatantly obvious. I feel like it's just obvious to us though, right? I feel like it might be because we understand advertising yeah, we, now a we lot get YouTube. more than the average person and like, oh my god. I mean, I, I'm guessing a lot of you guys would get this, but literally, watch this and listen to how he says it. It's a T-Mobile ad for the... Whatever While phone they're using. About, like the success of somebody who was yeah, invested in. they're going back to look at an, a business that uh, that did well that one of the sharks invested in. All right, listen. Yeah. <laughs> I have those monthly sales stickers. Let me beam them to your T-Mobile device. <laughs> <laughs> that was a straight ad for T-Mobile. <laughs> Here, hold on, hold your phone up. Let me beam Let me them straight to your T-Mobile device. device. <laughs> That's funny. Mmm. Vanilla Frosty. Don't do this. 
<laughs> that did not work. <laughs> it's frozen. <laughs> Anyways, we got this from Wendy's on the way back home. It's a little treat after dinner. And I've had a bite. It's delicious. Vanilla Frosty. I'm the first one frozen the night. I freeze all the freezes the light. Nobody else knows what I'm talking about. He's probably watching this video. Even great. <laughs> we used to sing that when we went through the draft through. You know that song? I'm... God, what is it? I'm flat now. I'm the flat now. Something like that. I can't think of the, the actual song. Excuse you. Matt, get off that frosty. But yeah, I don't know. That's this song me and my friend sang when we went through the Wendy's drive through to get frost days. Oh my gosh. I just want to curl up in a ball from how full I am. I ate all of my sake, which I never eat all of. And then I had a, a, a frosty. My belly's over. Oh, it hurts. So we didn't get as much done as we wanted to today. Hopefully I can do it tomorrow. Uh, but at least we got the yard cut and we got a lawnmower. That took a lot longer than expected. And by the end of the day, we were wore out and tired. And we cuddled on the little bean bag here, or the big bean bag here, for a while. Watched Shark Tank. And now I think it's time for bed. I'm going to try to get to bed early tonight. I got to bed pretty early last night. Uh, so I'm going to try to repeat that again and uh, wake up earlier this morning. That was the problem. I went to bed early. But I still slept in late. I got lazy. It's hard to to get up when Grizzly Gray is laying right there sleeping, warm, that I can cuddle up right beside her. It's not fair. I'm like, Gray, this you morning, gotta get up so I can get up. This morning, I woke up three times because of three separate dream or nightmares. And I was like, should I stay? No, I'll keep cuddling. Is it comfy? <laughs> so yeah, hopefully tomorrow I can get up earlier. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the vlog, click the like button down below. Subscribe for new videos Monday through Friday. And we will see you in the next one. Also, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Our links are below in the description if you didn't know. Peace! Ty's iPhone help with the pirate gray. Working hard, doing vlogs, man, every day. Being funny, huh? What can I say? They help with everybody, man. Videos on the way. Subscribe today. Hit like and play.